This is part two of the Uncertainty and Confidence lesson. In this part, we discuss the main feedbacks in the climate system. One of the main questions we ask ourselves if we discuss uncertainty in future climate change projections is why are the model outcomes so different? One of the main reasons is that models differ considerably in the estimates of the strengths of the different feedbacks. These are particularly the feedbacks in the climate systems, considering clouds, albedo and lapse rates, the oceanic heat uptake, carbon cycle feedbacks, but also the impacts of aerosols on the climate system. In this part of the lesson, we discuss the main feedbacks in the climate system. We discuss albedo, water vapour, lapse rates and clouds. So when we talk about feedbacks, we start with a forcing that has an impact on the climate system. The forcing here is often higher greenhouse gas emissions. Those result in warming the climate systems and they have a certain response. And sometimes there's a feedback. Feedbacks can both be positive, resulting in more warming, and they can be negative, resulting in cooling. An important feedback is the albedo feedback. Albedo is the fraction of solar energy reflected from the Earth back into space. It is a measure of the relativity of the Earth's surface. Ice, especially ice with snow on top of it, has a high albedo. Most sunlight hitting the surface bounces back towards space. Water is much more observant and less reflective. So if there's a lot of water, more solar radiation is observed by the ocean than when ice dominates. In a warmer world, there will be less ice. So we have an increase in greenhouse gases, there's a warming. This result of melting of snow and ice. As a result, there's a reduced albedo and more absorbed sunshine, which results in a positive feedback. Another important feedback is the water vapour feedback. Due to the warming of the atmosphere, there's an increased atmospheric water vapour. Water vapour is also a greenhouse gas and increases the warming, so this is also a positive feedback. The lapse rate feedback is a negative feedback. The lapse rate is the rate at which the temperature decreases upwards. In the future climate, the temperature is projected to increase throughout the troposphere, but it increases more high up in the atmosphere than compared to near the surface. The lapse rate is therefore set to decrease. As a result, the warmer air up high can radiate heat away to space more easily. So what happens with the lapse rate feedback? There's warming, there's a decreased lapse rate, there's more cooling to space. So this is a negative feedback and reduces the warming of the atmosphere. The cloud feedback is different. It can be positive and negative. So we start with the external forcing, which changes the surface temperature. If the surface temperature increases, the ability of the air to hold moisture also increases. This increases evaporation, this increases atmospheric water vapour, and this increases the clouds. But there's two kinds of clouds. One that reflects a lot of solar radiation, and the kind of clouds that increase the greenhouse gas effect. So, there's different kinds of feedback. Clouds are very complex to predict, and it is difficult to know whether they result in positive or negative feedbacks. So in a warmer weather, there's more water, there's more clouds. More clouds can mean more reflection of solar, it gets cooler, but it can also mean more infrared radiation back to the surface, which means it's getting warmer. So to summarize it, the negative feedback is caused by more bright low clouds, 
which result in less absorbed sunshine, and a negative feedback. The positive feedback is caused by the high clouds, which increases the cloud greenhouse gas effect and results in a positive feedback. So what do the models say about different kinds of feedback? So this is a graph that summarizes different kinds of feedbacks and different kinds of modeling systems. So the water vapor overall results in all modeling systems in a positive feedback. The clouds tend to dominate the positive feedbacks, but there's a lot of model systems where this is relatively low. The albedo results in a small positive feedback and the lapse rates can be significant in terms of a negative feedback. If we compare, combine all the different feedbacks, we see that overall there's a positive feedback. And when we summarize this, it actually roughly doubles the warming due to increased greenhouse gas concentrations. Because the positive feedbacks are much stronger than the negative feedbacks. But overall, there's a large difference in the feedbacks between the different models. And this results in large model uncertainty.